The schedule critics, they questioned the Pitt Panthers throughout the season, and I think the Panthers said today, shut your pie hole. An incredible win over the Colorado Buffaloes in the round of 64. He is North Carolina great J.R. Reed. I'm Jeff Fischel. 77-48 the final. J.R., incredibly impressive by Jamie Dixon's team. Yes, Pittsburgh has been playing great, Jeff, and I think coming out of the ACC tournament, they're back to where they were early on in the season. As you remember, Pittsburgh was playing very well early part of the year, then had a little let off, but now they have really turned it back on. We know about Lamar Patterson, but to leave Zana has really been great of late. Well, we saw him dominate in Greensboro, and you're right, Lamar Patterson didn't have to do a lot today, only 10 points because everyone else was stepping up, including guys like Cameron Wright. Yeah, Cameron Wright was big, helping the other big man inside Zana, but they're going to need team effort for this Pittsburgh team to go a long way in the big dance because they're not very gifted offensively, and it's going to take an effort from everyone every night offensively for them to get it done. You talked about potentially making a run. Now, the pit game just ended, so we don't know if Florida advances, but we have to assume the number one overall seed will right, do so. Right. It sets up a matchup between the Gators and the Panthers. How do you look at that matchup? Well, that's going to be a tough one. That Florida team, as you know, with Scotty Wilbekin at the point guard, they've got Patrick Young in the paint. They've got athletes that we, that can really get up and down the court. And we may remember one that comes off the bench, Dorian Finney-Smith from Virginia Tech, who is down there now, comes in and gives them another athletic body. This team really gets after them. But Pittsburgh is going to have to have their A game, going to need a bigger game than they got from Lamar Patterson today. Yeah, the thing I like, James Robinson, kind of the unheralded point guard for the Panthers, he always does the quiet little things. His first half line, zero points. Six assists, no turnovers, a couple of steals, some boards. That's what he does, and it was a quintessential performance, not just by him, but the entire team. Right, and when you play with a guy like Lamar Patterson, you like to have a point guard. It doesn't necessarily have to shoot a great deal, and that's what that's what he does. You know, Robinson comes in, and he gives the ball to the players, makes the good plays, and Coach Dixon knows that the ball's in good hands and don't have to worry about turnovers as Give me much. a couple of key factors if Pitt is going to upset the Gators. Well, if Pitt's going to upstate the, uh, upset the Gators, as I said, first of all, they're going to need a bigger game from Lamar. Patterson and we're going to have to have another big game from Zana inside he's going to have to have another 20 20 point game and they're going to have to have a third scoring option maybe one of the other players step up and give him a big scoring punch all right that's the Pitt Panthers they've advanced to the round of 32 most likely to face the Florida Gators he's J.R. Reed I'm Jeff Fischel you're watching the ACC Digital Network brought to you by Ruby Tuesday